How's it going, everybody? Today we are taking a quick little jaunt down ice cream grade out here in the Ben Loman Bonnie Dune area. Runs right into um, Felton Empire goes down to Felton of course first time on the uh, new supermoto tires just switched back had a little video on mounting them and then installing the uh, warp 9 conversion I've uh, been on these before but I switched back and forth every now and then and it was time for a new set of tires so I figured I'd make a little video this is just a funny little uh, mountain road out here perfect for these little supermoto setups nice and windy and bumpy and it's super windy today so there's a bunch of leaves and branches and all sorts of fun stuff on the road as you can see here not a good day to be flying around the corner still breaking these tires in as well so we're just taking a nice easy stroll I think this is also the first ride that I've actually been on since New Year's Day ride I had gone to uh, the New Year's Day Ridge Runners Dual Sport Ride, or Ridge Runners New Year's Day Dual Sport Ride. Uh, thank you, Henry, for mentioning that. That's a really cool little off-road um, get-together if you've never heard of it. And if you're wanting to take your dual sport out in the Santa Cruz Mountains, that's a fantastic ride to go on. But don't be a fool like me and uh, take your wasted dirt tires. I, uh, it was pretty late notice that I got before I found out about it. And uh, my tires were already toast and I didn't really have time to put some new ones on. So I figured what the heck. I'd just go out there and uh, see what it's all about. And I got beat up. I uh, didn't make it far enough up the first hill climb to have a decent place to turn around. So I had to back my bike down the whole hill. And that wore me out. Didn't make me feel too bad though because I'd say the majority of people were not making it up that hill. It was muddy, steep. And yeah, my tires were wasted. So anyways, I went for the B loop and ended up having to push my bike up all the steep inclines there as well. Just couldn't get any traction. And realistically, I wasn't supposed to be there anyway. It was such a big turnout. It was a 150 rider limit and they ran out of tickets before I reached the front of the line. But they were cool enough to let me on the property anyway. <clears throat> so that was cool. I was just happy that I could do the first loop. And I completely exhausted myself and ended it at that. But uh, I've already got a new set of tires. As you can see, I got these new Supermoto tires. I figured it was time to swap back for a little while. <clears throat> There's a lot more street stuff to ride around here, at least as far as I know. I don't know too many dirt trails that you're allowed to be on out here. So I figured it was time to go back to the street setup for a little while. But I did get a new set of tires, dirt tires, so I will be ready when the time comes. I 
haven't put them on yet, but they're brand new, ready to go. Roads closed back there because I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's super windy today. Knocked down a couple power poles. Power's actually out at my house. A lot of Santa Cruz. Pretty, uh, pretty good one. But anyways, that was it. that was ice cream grade. As you can see, the uh, roads blocked there at Pine Flat, so I'm turning around and looping back to where I began. But uh, if you want to see more like this, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.